Hey and welcome back to the revolution and some more WWE 2K20 news and what looks to be quite possibly the best pre-order bonus content in a WWE video game to date. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K20 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also find all of today's news and more over on our official website, revolution.com. Earlier today, 2K and WWE unveiled the pre-order bonuses for this year's game, and I have to say, they are all downright bloody spooktacular. Honestly, if I wasn't already hyped for 2K20, I certainly am now. In the eerily titled Bump in the Night pack, fans get to play as Bray Wyatt, or more importantly, his fiend persona, which officially debuted this past Sunday as part of SummerSlam. Not only that, but fans also get access to a whole host of Halloween inspired content to make even the darkest of souls cheer and delight. Following his official match return over the weekend, fans immediately took to social media about wanting the fiend in 2K20, with most fans feeling like the move possibly wouldn't happen. However, in the ultimate move by 2K, the fiend will indeed be part of this year's game, making the game quite possibly the most up to date it has ever been. Not only will players get to play as the Fiend, but also the Demon King Finn Balor, Swamp Father Bray Wyatt, Frankenstrawman, Wicked Alistair Black, Unleashed Apex Predator Randy Orton, Fed Up Sheamus, Twisted Nikki Cross, and Survivor Mandy Rose. Before we move on, let's take a quick look at the models shown off in today's official press release. <laughs> now, don't throw me into the fire pit. I've never actually watched a single episode of Game of Thrones, but to me, this wicked Alistair Black model looks a lot like a recolor of the Night King. The model also gives us some serious Chinese elemental vibes with the focus on both the tattoos and the neon white, and even if I don't know quite what it is, I still can't help but find it seriously cool. Next up we have a sneak peek look at the Unleashed Apex Predator Randy Orton, which is a snake skin version of Randy Orton, along with some serious Voldemort looking snake nostrils. Following that we have the Frankenstrom model which was showcased last week during the Originals announcement. I have to say I really can't wait to see how this one transitions into the main game and I really can't wait to inspect every little stitch up close. Finally, I've said it before and I will say it again, I bloody love anything zombie, especially Shaun of the Dead, so this Shaun of the Dead inspired attire version of Seamus is so bloody cool to me and it actually makes me want to play Seamus, which is so out of character for me. I don't know about you, but I honestly find all of this so freaking awesome. Last year 2K brought in so many fun elements such as the big head mod and block characters, but this this is just on a completely new scale and it has me totally hyped for all the upcoming Originals DLC. This also confirms that Nikki Cross will indeed be part of this year's game after opting out of last year's release. And not only that, but you also have two DLC themed towers as part of the Bump in the Night pack. The first of five brand new themed towers is titled Nowhere to Run, in which Twisted Nikki Cross looks to play with other superstars in her own Twisted game. The next female-centric tower focused on SmackDown Live superstar Mandy Rose in Nowhere to Hide. Survivor Mandy Rose has had enough of Twisted Nikki Cross in her games, she's going to do what she can to put an end to the madness. The three remaining towers are entitled All Fed Up which focuses on Seamus, One of the Family and The Fiend which both focus on different versions of Bray Wyatt. In All Fed Up, Seamus is forced to take on some of his former fellow superstars who have all become zombies and in one of the family, Bray Wyatt decides to bring on one of his past recruits, Daniel Bryan. As well as featuring in his very own 2K tower, Swamp Father Bray Wyatt will also have his very own showcase in which Bray has amassed otherworldly power, becoming an embodiment of the swamp itself. He lures Finn Balor to his compound to recruit Finn's demon into his group of powered superstars, which he calls his family. Finn is forced to fight in a series of matches against members of White's family until finally the power within Finn Balor is unleashed. From zombies to swamp creatures and Frankenstein, or should we say Frankenstein, each and every aspect sums so over the top in the best way possible. Not only will you get to play out these awesome scenarios, but you'll also get two very brand new arenas to do so in. First up is the White Swamp Arena which was previously revealed last week as well as the Cemetery Brawl Arena. Both arenas will be available in exhibition along with new weapons, new crate and arena parts, new superstar moves and a handful of crate superstar parts. 
Like I said in the intro, this is quite possibly the greatest pre-order bonus today, and I can't recall the time when we received so much bonus content on day one of release. For those who don't wish to pre-order WWE 2K20, you can alternatively pick up the Bump in the Night pack at a later date for $14.99. For those who do want to make a save, however, I highly suggest purchasing the 2K20 pack stage pass, which costs funds $29.99 and includes the originals packs 2, 3 and 4. So that's our breakdown of this year's amazing pre-order bonuses for 2K20, but we want to know what you make of the Bump of the Night pack at home. Obviously, this might not be to everyone's taste, but with so much on offer for free for those who pre-order the game, why not try out the DLC for yourself as a little taste for what lies in store for WWE Originals? As a huge fan of zombies, horror and everything that's Halloween, I can't wait to play around with all these customizable options and I can't wait to see what wacky custom superstars make their way onto community creations. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like or comment below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also head on over to our official website revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I hope you all have a spectacular day. <laughs>